I don't usually associate rarity with quality, nor would I say high price justifies a game's worth. But Ninja Cop 5 is one of the most expensive games on the Game Boy Advance, and I just want to say it's also the best Game Boy Advance game I have played to date. Developed by Hudson Soft and published by Konomi in the year 2003, it's the perfect blend of Sega's Shinobi meets Capcom's Bionic Commando. It's Ninja Cop 5 exclusively for the Game Boy Advanced. The story is simple, you play as a cop named Joe. You are rescuing hostages and killing terrorists. You are basically a ninja cop. Ah, if only real life cops were ninjas. The only American. Who is he? Who is capable of defeating the secret Black Star Army. Hmm, in second thoughts, maybe not. The game is simple to pick up due to the controls. Holding L allows you to view the screen. R is to execute the sword attack. B is to throw ninja death stars. A is to jump. Holding up and A is to use the grappling hook. Simple right? No, it's not simple. The game requires ninja-like precision, timing and execution. This game is hella hard. Is it me or do hard games feel more fun? Well, it's certainly more challenging, I know that. Similar to Mega Man, the game requires some memorization and some trial and error in order to beat certain stages. Luckily, there is an autosave feature, so you don't always have to start back from square one. Like all ninjas, we use stealth. You can sneak up on some of your enemies. You climb walls, swing from the ceiling, just like Bionic Commando. The game does have a progressive learning curve, ushering the player into the game with not too difficult early stages, only to crank up the difficulty on the final levels. There are five levels in the game. The levels consist of four stages, each stage becoming more difficult than the latter. The final fourth stage is the end of level boss battle. There are in total five bosses in the game. The bosses are difficult as you would expect. You would need to learn their patterns and methods of attack in order to crush them. What's pretty sweet is that Joe has three levels of power. Once he obtains this thunder like item, he could upgrade his suit. You know, you got the standard blue suit you start off with, then the purple suit allowing Joe to throw free flames, and finally you have the black suit. Obviously this does the most damage, and you could blast your enemies making them vanish into thin air. But be warned, once Joe gets hit, he reverts to his previous ninja suit. No ninja is complete without his super abilities, an incomplete super bar allows for temporary invincibility. A full super bar and our man Joe could take out everyone on the screen. Just like Akuma's raging demon, Japanese text would appear on the screen and flashy colours. Kapow! What? Would I do to make this game better? Well, there's not much I could do to make this game better, but since this is a bloody review, I guess I should suggest a few things. Well, in order to execute a super, you must press both the A and B button at the same time. This isn't great as sometimes you could accidentally do a super without meaning to, because, you know, holding A and B, is, you could do it easily. The game is short, 
Once you memorise the level, it doesn't offer much replayability. Once we beat the game, we unlock the hard mode. That doesn't affect the difficulty of the game, but it only handicaps our health as now we could take more damage when we're hit. Further, I would like to see the ninja run. You know, tap forward forward, enable him to run maybe? I don't know, just a little add-on if you want, say, maybe. I could not praise this game enough. Sure, this game may be short, but it's one of the best games I've played in a while. This is due to the tight controls, the ease of being able to play and pick up, but yet challenging enough to keep you wanting to play more. The game has a classic retro feel, due to the pixel art animation. I couldn't ask for more. The music is fitting and the sound effects do what they're supposed to do. You know, it's such a shame how modern games are going for complex graphics and textures and all that rubbish, but yet here we have a simple looking game with a simple game's concept, but yet it plays so well and it's so much fun. It's just a shame that Ninja Cop 5 is so highly priced. I honestly feel like more people should be able to get their hands on this. It's the true pinnacle of what I call a hidden gem. Anyways guys, as always it's been a pleasure and I want to thank you for watching and supporting me channel. Peace.